All right, we are doing exercise 24.11. You have a spherical capacitor with this charge of three nanocoulombs. It gives you the potential difference. It gives you the radius of the outer shell and asks you to find three things. The capacitance, the radius of the inner sphere, and the electric field just outside that inner sphere. The first part of the capacitance is a very simple equation. C equals Q over V, which we know Q and V. So we can just do three times 10 to the negative ninth because you do want to make sure that you are not you convert it into coulombs. And then that is over 230 volts that they give you, which gives 1.3 times 10 to the negative 11 farads. It asks you, at least for me, in picofarads, which is 13 picofarads. The second part, the radius of the inner sphere, is actually just a very weird equation. That is C equals 4 pi, and then your nice constant and then it's one over the inner radius minus one over the outer radius so it's, this is kind of just a matter of figuring out this equation or finding it somewhere but once you have that it's fairly simple you have 1.3 times 10 to the negative 11 equals 4 pi e naught over 1 minus the inner radius is what we're finding 1 over the outer radius, which is 4.8 times 10 to the negative 2. Make sure you put that in meters. And you go ahead and solve for the inner radius, which is 1 over RA equals 29.388, and RA equals 0 0.034 meters, oops, meters or 3.4 centimeters. And then finally, the last part, calculating the electric field just outside the surface of the inner sphere is also an equation. E equals Q over E naught A. In this case, A is the surface area of a sphere, which is equal to 4 pi r squared. So then you know everything else, and you basically just have to plug in and find for E. And then you have your constant, 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12, which you also just have to know, 4 pi. And then you just found your radius. Make sure you use the 1 in meters squared. And then just simplify for E. 10 to the fourth newtons over coulombs. So that's the answer for the third part. So most of this is just a matter of knowing the equations. You have to have this really weird equation and this one. Um, which I know for me at least were not visibly in my textbook, this one here, the one for capacitance, so just a matter of that.